In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create a very simple backless dress using the shrink wrap modifier. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well the first thing you really need to do is start with something, um, a model in a T pose, although A pose uh, works just as well, but I, I would always use a T pose. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just hold down Shift A, next to the mesh, I'll select a circle, and press Tab on my keyboard to go into edit mode, and then I'll just use this move button here to drag this up to the neck area just turn this off okay I'm going to press S and move the mouse to reduce this down so it's roughly the size of her neck you can roll your middle mouse to zoom in shift the middle mouse to position I'm assuming you know a bit more about blender than using some of the shortcuts but anyway hopefully this will help as well I'm going to press 3 on my numbers pad, then using the green arrow I'll line this up to her neck. I'm not going to be too fussy here, also it helps if you select the um, x-ray tab up here or button up here when you're working uh, with costumes. Okay, so that's about right, so one on my numbers pad here, okay. So I'm just going to bring this up very slightly because it's probably too far down. Then I'm going to press E, Z, and I'm going to drag this down. I'm going to press Tab to go back into Object Mode. And then using the um, Modifier's Property button here is a little wrench. I'm going to select add modifier and I'm going to select shrink wrap. With this selected I'm just going to select in the target box the body and using this arrow here, this drop down arrow, I'm going to select apply. And the next thing I'm going to do, because I don't want this collapsing, if I leave this as a single, um, sort of just one um, surface what will we'll happen is will collapse so what I need to do is just select add modifier and I'm going to just select solidify and using the drop down arrow again I'm going to select apply I'm going to go back press tab to go back into edit mode again and what I want to do is select the outer edge, so I'm going to just select one of the vertices on the outer bottom edge, hold down shift and select another one, they must be joining, and come over to select, next to select loops, select edge loops, come over to the right hand side, and there's a little triangle, object data properties, select this, select the plus sign, and then select assign. Go back into object mode and select your little wrench again, add modifier and select shrink wrap, select the body in the target box and select in the ver next to vertex group, left click and select group. Now don't apply this, just come over to edit mode by hitting tab and what I would do is press 3 on my numbers pad to go into um, right hand view then press E followed by Z and drag this down. Something went wrong there so I want E, Z. I'm going to drag this down, all the way down and then I'm going to level this up by pressing 
S Z zero and maybe press S drag it out in size a bit and this is where you can start moving it around and using S again I'll make this a bit smaller and maybe drag this up and because I'm in x-ray mode I can just about see you may not be able to see it that easy if you're using um, a smartphone but you can actually see where the edge of this dress will be so again three my numbers pad and I'm going to press R and rotate this around and just move it and then maybe S to expand the size. And just keep moving it until I get something that gives me a. I'll rotate this again, I think. I'm going to have to keep trying to judge where you want the dress to finish at the back. So I think we'll go with this. So again, three on my numbers pad. I'm going to press E, Z, gain drag this down and then I'll roll my middle mouse and I don't know press R and square this off so it's sort of square okay you go into at the top of the screen select your edge select button and then just hold down the left mouse button and draw a box over these here and I'm going to just look where the middle sort of you can use these arrows to judge where the middle uh, edge is and I'm going to box select the edges to the right hit delete and select only edges and faces and the next thing I want to do is select loop cuts here on the left so it's selected place a loop cut and just using your left mouse drag this up so you get I don't know let's take this up I'm going to take this one up to 10 so that they're reasonable size then I'm going to place a loop cut on this bottom half I'm going to drag this up to sort of match this, the size of the faces the top half and that for now we'll do. I'm going to press tab on my keyboard, tab on my keyboard to go into object mode and I'll select the body and go into physics properties, it's this little circle here and I've already got collision selected so I'll select collision on the body then select the dress and I'm going to select cloth and the other thing because I want to keep this part solid up here I need to roll my middle mouse and come down to the box that says collisions open this box up and select self collision this should keep the top half solid now if I press play this dress will start, I'm going to turn the x-ray off, it will start shaping. Don't worry about the state of this, I'll show you how to sort this out in a minute. It will start shaping. If you get problems and you end up with a load of spikes, I'll just go back to the beginning again. The way around that is for your first um, attempt at doing this, it's changed from angle to linear. So I'm going to just press this in linear and then I'll stop it once I'm happy with the shape. So that's working okay. So at this point here I'm at frame 42. I'm going to go, I'm going to select the little wrench, modifiers properties and I'm actually going to select apply on the shrink wrap and then select cloth and I'm going to select apply the shrink wrap part you can do before you use the cloth but um, it doesn't matter as long as though it's above the cloth it'll still work 
okay I'm going to go back to the beginning and again physics properties and I'm going to select cloth I'm going to come up here and select the object mode and come down and select sculpt mode reason for that is I don't know what the shortcut is and then what I want to have selected is this one here it'll say smooth and place an X or select the X making sure you're always at frame one when you use the any any of these just hold your left mouse button down and gradually tidy up the dress by moving the circle don't do too much in any one time and now press play to make sure everything is working and make sure you go back to frame one gradually um, smooth the material also fortunately I haven't done the top half you'll need to make sure that you keep your collision your self collision on and press play this is gradually tidying it up now I'm gonna hold down shift followed by one on my numbers pad to go into rear view again go back to number one or frame one and just start tidying up your dress and press play and try not to do too much because you'll end it you can end up with problems and then you'll have to change the settings on your cloth but for now I'm going to go with that I'm going to select the wrench again select apply then back to the physics tab and cloth again go back to the beginning and carry on smoothing your dress and press play oh and make sure again that you've got collision self collision selected so that's not looking too bad that's basically it all I would do is just carry on smoothing the dress until I'm sort of happy with the result I'm not going to go any further because just bear in mind that you can always apply and then start again if you're smoothing and that's the way I tend to do it that is basically it I don't think I can really show you that much more it works most of the time like all things in blender occasionally something may stop this from working properly I could obviously carry on smoothing this a bit more if I wanted to but um, let's go into object mode right click smooth it's not looking too bad so that is basically all there is to it really i've got a bit of problem with the um british groups here um i'm not going to go into how to sort those out i've got tutorials on showing you how to sort out this dark area if you have a look through my playlists and that's it really now you should be able to create a colour, I don't know. Yep. And for this tutorial, I think that will do. Hopefully this helps someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.